I really enjoy working with concrete and today I'll show you how to make your very own raised concrete planner. Oh, and by the way, it has an automatic watering system. Big thanks to Bloomscape for sponsoring this video. Before we dive in, let's take a look at what you're gonna need. First thing, we're gonna need two containers. In this case, I'm gonna use two buckets, but you can use two bowls, a bucket and a bowl, whatever you wanna use. You just need two containers so we can have the concrete in one and also set the hole for your planner. Well, we can't have a concrete planner without concrete, so you're gonna need a bag of that. And we're gonna need a bucket to mix that in and a bucket full of fresh water. Finally, you'll need a mixing tool. You can use a shovel. I'm gonna use a mix and drill. We'll go over this in greater detail later, but we'll also need copper piping for this stand. I'm not gonna bore you and try to figure out any mathematical decision here. I'm gonna keep this simple and we're gonna guess. So my common sense method to try here is to take water, pour it in this bucket, take a second bucket, put it inside and see where the water rise. And I hope that would tell me how much concrete I need to put in this bucket. But first, we're gonna put tape on this, mark it once we put the water in here and figure out how much we need. And then we'll just give that a shot. That's gonna get me about up here where I'd like to go. All right, so right now I'm gonna take some WD-40, spread inside of here, and also spread on the back side of this bucket. All right, so you know the deal. We're gonna take this cement, gonna pour it to this line, see if that's good enough once we put that bucket in here and see if we can rise to the level that I'm hoping for. All right, so now I'm gonna take this bucket Place it inside, try to get it in the middle, and then work this guy down. Just work it. All right, so I got a plan in mind, and what I'm gonna do is take some clamps, clamp it on this, see what happens. I'm gonna continue to take this mallet and just keep tapping on the bucket going all the way around. And while I'm doing that, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a perfect patio plant, look no further. Bloomscape offers a wide variety of options, some that cannot be found at your local stores. Bloomscape is a modern gardening center delivering the largest variety of quality plants directly from the greenhouse to people's homes. Bloom kits are convenient and include everything you need, including instructions and care tips. The plants of your choice are shipped in a well-packaged box and for the best experience, it's recommended to unbox them upon arrival. These kits are completely customizable and can be mixed and matched. Bloomscape offers more than just plants. It's all you need in one place, plants, pots, tools, and other supplies. Let's look at this. This is my first bloom kit and it's crazy how much this plant has grown over a few months. I have no doubt you can find something that speaks to you. To freshen up that patio or outdoor living space, click on the link in the description below or use my code DIYCreators to get 20% off your first Bloomscape plant order of $100 or more. I think I've removed enough bubbles and now I'm gonna take this to a different location, let it set up and cure for a couple days and then I'll come back and I'll see you once I remove the bucket. So I don't know how hard this is going to be. I'm going to try to remove the inner bucket first, loosen that up and then we'll work on the exterior so I'm not putting too much pressure on it. So what I don't know is what I want to do, will it work? 
So I'm gonna keep this up, Zach. Oops, that's what I wanted right there. Just like that. I thought I was gonna have to put some work in. So I cut the bucket so I can have a waterproof liner on the inside of the pot. I'll set this off to the side and start working on the stand. This stand will be made of half inch copper piping. And this is the variety of parts I use to create it. To cut the pipes, all you need is a tube cutter and you can also use a miter saw to speed things up. Unfortunately, I was unable to find all the fittings I need at the local stores. I needed a copper cross fitting which could be easily found online but was unable to find it locally. While I do not expect perfection, this brings me to making my own. I use a coupling then remove a section that allowed me to connect this to the T fitting. This first attempt was close but I ended up using a file to continue the modification. Now that I have this fitting shape, it's a matter of placing the teeth fitting to make sure it sits firmly. I'll solder this section later on. For now, I'll assemble the stand as much as possible. Initially, I was planning on gluing all the fittings together, but there are two parts I needed to solder and I figured I'd just solder the entire thing. I tried a few test joints without adding solder and flux and that didn't seem to be too strong at all, so I went back to the basics. I sanded the tip of the copper pipe that would be inserted into the fitting. Then I applied flux to the sanded area and connect the parts. Soldering copper joints is not something I have experience with. Some joints came out good and some joints needed some work. All in all, the joint seems to be pretty solid. Initially, I was going to paint it black, but as I was cleaning this up, I believe I'm going to leave it as is. In just a couple months, this is one of the plants I got from Bloomscape and it has grown a lot. I placed it on the bucket so that the leaves can expand and go their own direction and this is the reason for me building a stand. And this is the technology behind the automatic self-watering system. A nylon string rope and a water bottle. This bottle is 16.9 ounces and anything within that vicinity should work just fine. A smoothie juice bottle would probably be a bit more sturdier but this works. Now I'll puncture four holes into the bottle and pass the rope through. The ropes are long enough to curl at the bottom and also long enough to reach the rim of the planter. The idea here is to have a hole in the middle of the soil, place the bottle there and stretch the rope out to intertwine within the soil. Now I have the rope in the bottle buried into the soil, I'll leave the top exposed. This way I can simply remove the top, put a funnel in it, and pour the water. Now I know some of you may be questioning this, like will this even work? But don't take my word for it, trust your eyes. For that very reason I set up a test so you can see what happens when the rope is placed inside of liquid and over time what it does with the liquid. As I place a new piece of rope in here, you'll see how it absorbed the liquid. This clip I'm showing you is sped up by a lot. I took 35 minutes and compressed it to 20 seconds. Let's see what happens. In about four to five hours, five pieces of string removed this much liquid from the bowl. With one less rope and using a 16.9 ounce water bottle, I believe I can get about three to four days worth of watering. Now I know that this will work, it's a matter of learning how long the water would last within the bottle and once I know that answer, I can then set reminders to remind me to fill the bottle. Happy planting and I hope you enjoy this one, see you in the next.